Welcome to a new video by DJ's BRC. Project Cherokee is getting its first upgrade. I have a set of RC for wheel drive here, a uh, set of rims uh, that's going to go on the Project Cherokee here. But before we continue, this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. www.greathobbies.com. Check out their website, they're awesome. This is like I was saying, one of the first upgrade uh, project Cherokee is getting it. It's the RC four wheel drive, uh, kind of a rally-ish uh, rims. Uh, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong here, but I think uh, physical GM has a similar set to these guys here. I just figured they look nice. Uh, the compare of the other RC four wheel drive rims they have, that's a physical bolt you go through with a nut. These are just uh, screws. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how to do install these guys. I did three already. And they do come with caps to put on your top of your bolts or physically use these guys here to hold your wheels. And they do give you a small wrench that you put on you 2.5 to be able to remove all these screws here and they could have made this physical wrench adapter a little bit better because every time you remove it from the screw it stays on the screw itself it's a little bit of a pain somebody could grab himself uh, an old 2.5 and basically glue it to it and that way when you wouldn't have that issue or if you can find a physically uh, a socket that's 2.5 that that's small that's even even better here and sometimes they do stick to it Now, what I do sometimes, I'll uh, basically unscrew them to the point that they physically stay in the, the X adapter. Then I'll just finish them by hand. Now, this is the, the X adapter. Certain RC filter rim, they don't come with that. Now, I'm just going to separate them. Because they do have the plastic ring, they do bond together. Now this is the inner ring. Depending on the make that you have of tires, if it's a pro line tire, skinnier, you might need to change that internal ring. But on this one here, you don't need to. Now you just make sure that this inner ring is seated correctly and your bead is inside of it now what i do i grab the back piece i insert it and put a lot of pressure and just make sure that's inside the bead i'm just gonna confirm here now, I'm not sure if the camera is going to want to cooperate with me here, but you see it's seated correctly. Now, I'll flip it. Now, with these guys here, you just can't go boom and you line them, you're done. Unfortunately, these holes are not 100% perfect. You have to physically align it. What I try to do is, let me grab my screwdriver here. I look at this hole here, it's closer to the in, but the encavement, but the, 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 the holes right here. I just try to make sure that's aligned and I do the same thing on this one here. I'm able to look at it and see this is closer to this one here. And I grab it and I try to align it itself. Uh, 
And sometimes I'll use my driver to see if everything gets aligned. See, now I'm pushing. It's not straight. On the camera, it seems to be straight, but it's not. And I'll flip it on the other side, and you physically see if these pins underneath, if they're aligning. And it seems like it. Yep, they are. Now what I'm going to do is grab my X and I'm going to use it to make sure it's aligned. And I'm going to try to keep a screw on this. Now that way I can physically start screwing her in without letting go of the physical tire itself. And looks fine. I'm going to put a second one opposite to it. Screw it completely in. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, without too much pressure, just kind of roll the bead a bit and making sure this plastic lip here, because this is plastic, if you can remove them, it's seated. And I look outside in the, in the back here, they are. That's telling me that everything's solid. And now I'm just gonna screw the rest of this, these, bo these bolts or screws. And I'm just gonna go opposite. That way, is uh, it's pretty much equal pressure. Come on. And this is what happens sometimes. You won't be able to take it off. It's, yeah. It's a better system, a little bit, than compared to other rims they do have that's a small nut like a 2.5 and uh, yeah I did those rims they are a pain now I'm just gonna take a look at the bead to make sure it's seated yeah, it is do they both on both sides and there we go. Our first upgrade to the Project Cherokee. What I'm going to do now, I'll uh, pause this video. I'll put them on the truck. Still don't have the body done yet, but I'll put them on the truck and we'll be able to see what it looks like. And I'll be back. And we're back with Project Cherokee here. I did all three. I just wanted to show you guys removing the stock one. I did not glue the stock tires because I wanted to put them on these rims here. Uh, I said to myself, ain't worth buying another set of rims. These are not really not bad. There is better tires out there. Uh, Proline has a set uh, Hydrax and they do have a pro, a pro pro line, but it'd be a good wrench, a little bit less wide of this guy here. But I wanted to keep the stock ones, basically putting this one on it and making sure it's set it, seated on the X. Now you could reuse the stock nuts, but they do provide you with these caps here with a nut inside. That's still awesome. I might change these guys uh, in your future. Try to put something a little bit more scale, but huh, we'll see. And sorry if you're just seeing my hands right now. There we go. And they do provide you with an adapter that goes over here and converts to a 7 mil. But put these guys away. This is what they look on the vehicle itself. They're not bad.
I will try to insert a photo that you see on the side here. But if you guys have any comments or questions, post down below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And if you did like this video, hit the thumbs up right here. And if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, uh, hit that bell notification. It will let you know next time I upload. Thank you for watching.